guys what's up welcome back to another vlog today is monday and i actually slept in this morning a lot later than i normally do i typically wake up at like 6 a.m but i was up until almost 1 a.m last night so i knew there was no way i was gonna wake up that early this morning so i let myself sleep in a little bit and because of that i don't have enough time to go through my typical morning routine so i thought i would take this opportunity to show you guys a running late or in a rush morning routine so this is kind of how i get ready when i have a lot less time Time. First things first, running late or not, I cannot start my morning without some coffee. If you guys have been around for long enough, then you probably know that. I can't function without my coffee. Speed up the process, I'm gonna put my sugar in and let that melt while it's brewing. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys my five minute makeup routine and this is what I do if I'm in a rush. Take my glasses off. Now I can't see anything, but I'm looking in this little mirror right here. Instead of going all out with foundation, I'm just gonna be using this It Cosmetics CC Cream. And basically my goal here is just to even out my skin tone. I'm obviously not trying to do like a full blown foundation look, but this gives you pretty good coverage for a CC cream. Mind you, I can't see what I'm doing right now. So the mirror in front of me is blurry because my vision sucks and I have to take my glasses off and I don't wanna bother putting contacts in right now because I can only wear them for like really small increments of time. And I might go to the gym later today and I would like to save my contact wearing time for the gym. If my makeup looks uneven, it's because I probably can't see what I'm doing. So you should feel sorry for me. So after that, I'm just gonna throw the tiniest bit of concealer on under my eyes because otherwise I have really bad bags and we need to cover that up. The last thing, honestly, is just filling in my eyebrows because I think this is a very important step that will make you look put together, even if you literally spent five minutes doing your makeup. So I'm just gonna really quickly fill my eyebrows in. This is the Hoola Bronzer in Caramel, and I'm just going to put a tiny drop on my cheeks so that I look not dead. Liven up my face a little, and that is literally it, guys. Put my glasses back on. I can see again and for my hair whenever I'm in a rush and my hair is dirty like it is right now I literally just take some dry shampoo and just spray it in my hair and if it's really bad I'll put a hat on which I probably will today because it's looking kind of rough <laughs> in a ponytail and pop a hat on and then you literally don't even have to worry about what your hair looks like, so we're good. So normally in the mornings, I like to have a bowl of oatmeal or some yogurt and toast for breakfast, but I wanted to show you guys today my go-to snack for when I'm running late. Today's video is sponsored by RX Bar, a brand I already know and love. RX Bars are great because they have no added sugar, tons of flavors, and the best part about it is their simple ingredients. They're packed with 12 grams of protein, making them the ideal breakfast on the go. And they don't just have bars either, they have a bunch of nut butters as well, packed with more protein and simple ingredients. One of my personal favorites is vanilla almond butter on a piece of toast when I have time. It's such a delicious breakfast and you can eat it without feeling guilty. Here are some of my favorite flavors. Peanut butter chocolate is a given. Peanut butter chocolate, anything I love. Lemon is also a really good flavor. Banana chocolate walnut sounds amazing. I actually haven't tried this one yet. Peanut butter and berries is so good. No one ever thought to combine those two together in a bar and let me tell you, it's amazing. Chocolate coffee is delicious. I think it speaks for itself. It's definitely my go-to if I didn't have my coffee that morning. And mixed berries, another really good one if you're craving something sweet after you eat. And since the ingredients are so 
simple and there's no added sugar, it's like having a dessert and not even thinking about it. RX bars are one of my favorite snacks to take with me at school on the go to eat in between classes, or like I said, if you're like me this morning and you didn't have time to make a whole breakfast. You guys know I've been trying really hard to be more health conscientious this year and just being mindful of what I'm putting into my body. So I love these bars because the ingredients are so simple. So I know exactly what I'm taking into my body and there's no added sugar. So many bars like this have so much extra sugar and RX bar makes it easy. So thank you again RX bar for sponsoring today's video. I am so freaking excited. I've been eating RX bars for years, so it's such a dream to work with a brand that I already know and love. So you guys should definitely check out their bars. This will be my in-class snack today. Okay, I just parked in the parking garage and even though I left later than I normally do, I still got my exact same spot. So that's awesome. Just threw my coffee, what was left of it, in this to-go cup to take it with me to class. Yeah, we're gonna go get through this class, go home and work on some stuff for a little bit. And Chad said he wants to go to the gym with me, so we're gonna work out legs today and it's gonna be a killer workout. <laughs> <laughs> we are heading to the gym now and I'm drinking my Alani new energy drink. I'm basically treating this like a pre-workout right now because I need some pep in my step. I'm really irritated because my eyes are bothering me so bad. I tried to put my contacts in this morning and I couldn't. So I have a follow-up appointment today at 12 p.m. Um, at my eye doctor's appointment, which you guys know I've been literally going to the eye doctor it feels like all the time for the last like month and a half but I'm going today for a follow-up I don't know exactly what she's doing but she pretty much just wants to see how I'm doing on the allergy drops and I feel like they've done nothing for me because my eyes are still super dry and I can't wear contacts yeah just so frustrated with it and I feel bad because Chad lives in glasses he's got really bad vision so one day when we reproduce our kids are gonna have really bad eyes it's it's not good just got back home we had a really good workout um, yeah, we did our legs today, so it was a solid workout. <laughs> so now I am about to get a really quick shower. I was telling Chad I'm like stuck between deciding whether to make a green smoothie or get a shower, but it would probably be gross to go to my eye appointment without getting a shower, but I have to leave the house in 15 minutes. So I'm probably just gonna take a shower and have a protein bar. You guys can't even see me right now. I just took the fastest shower of my life didn't even put any makeup on and just rushed out the house because my eye appointment is in 10 minutes and I have to get there on time. So I am rushing right now. I brought my water bottle at least so I can drink this. So I am back home from the eye doctor and I'll tell you guys how that went later but I wanted to show you what I'm having for lunch. Just a spinach salad with some leftover chicken, a bowl of fresh cut strawberries, and some water. It's a little bit later. Wow, what is my hair doing? I didn't brush it. I just like let it air dry after showering earlier. But I just got back from Moe's with Chad. We just went and got burritos because it's Moe's Monday and it was delicious and we were gonna go get a drink afterwards but I made the decision to come home because I need to work on stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what my desk looks like. This is real life. All those sticky notes are like things that I need to do or study or little like things I don't wanna forget and I just have so much to do. But really quick, wanted to show you guys a package that I just got from Glossier. Their packaging is so cute, it's like this little pink bubble wrap. So, I got the stretch concealer because I've heard so many good things about this, just for like when I just need a little something. And then I also got the Future Dew Oil. Um, this is a face oil that's supposed to make your skin look super dewy. And I thought that these two products would be perfect for when I don't wanna like put a full face of makeup on, which has actually been a lot of the time lately. I've just been like, doing really quick makeup and not worrying about, you know, looking super cute or whatever. So this is gonna be something new for me, but I'm gonna try it out. So I'm about to start working on my post-lab data analysis. For this one, we did the molar mass of gas. So this is kind of how I organize the experiment. I feel like I've showed you guys how I do my lab notebooks before and I just pick a different color. This is the light green pastel color in that pack of highlighters that I showed you guys that I love. I'll link these again for you guys. They're on Amazon for, 
I feel like they're like five bucks or something. So worth it, I really like them. They're very precise. But anyways, we conducted this experiment for three different trials and then we had to calculate the mass of the gas produced, the pressure, the volume, the temperature, and then we had to convert that to Kelvins and then find the density of gas and we had to do that for all three of these trials. So it was a lot of work and now I have a bunch of discussion questions that I have to do. So that's what I'm gonna be working on now and probably until I go to bed because it's gonna take me a while.